What's up guys? So these are pretty long and normally they don't make any damn sense and they're kind of just stupid in my opinion. But this girl up here, right here, this girl, go follow her on Facebook or go check out her Facebook because I think there's people trying to get her Facebook taken down, which I don't understand, but I do understand. Like, leave people alone. People are allowed to have their own opinions no matter how stupid they may be, uh, and keep taking people's rights away, and that's just going to keep getting worse for all of us. It's, you're not, by taking one person's right away for something like this, you're just causing other things to be taken away. Just leave her alone and go laugh at it like I do. So anyways, this woman here has a crush, that's right, on this guy, Brian Kohlberger. Yes, the guy that's accused of being the guy that unalived the four Idaho students. And, yeah, it's it's weird. Like, go go check out her Facebook before it's taken down because people are trying to get it took down, uh, which I think is just stupid. She's allowed her opinion even though it's dumb. But I'm going to read this to you guys. If you don't want me to read it to you, go like I said, go follow her on Facebook or go check out her Facebook or whatever. And you can read this weird crap too. So yesterday I got on here and something showed up once again about one of my posts going against standards or something like that because it incited violence or something like that. Today I noticed something still showed up about my account being restricted and that for 24 days... My posts will show lower in the feed. Uh, back last October, Facebook was doing things like that to my other account under the name of Brittany Hislop and banning me over posts that were, weren't were necessarily of that being called for me. For. Weren't necessarily of that being called for. I haven't been on there now since October, if I remember correctly. Now they're start starting it with this account, but just since I've mentioned things about my feelings for Brian Kohlberger, and as I've mentioned in previous posts, I've also gotten harassment comments from people since I started mentioning him as well. Prior to me mentioning him on here, I wasn't getting all the comments and the things showing up far too frequently about my account being restricted and things going against the standards and things like that. And I know that whoever is behind making these things show up about my post going against the community standards and my account being restricted is likely someone that wouldn't like love or be fond of and they just want to try to, to have power over me even if it means they are the unrighteous one by being unjust towards me. I know that it's likely isn't my crush Brian doing that. Well, no shit. He's in prison. Uh, since he may not even have access to computers or tablets in jail. And even if he did, he may not even wish to do things like that to me. What the... What? Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> If it was him doing it, likely would just be because he's interested in seeing sides of my personality and how I react and handle things, or possibly even because of him being intelligent and knowing ways that I need to work on improving myself. However, I think there's a good chance that whoever is behind making those things happen in terms of making my account be restricted and far too many things showing up about my post going against the standards is someone that isn't, uh, isn't someone I'd be fond of like I am Brian since he's my love interest. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, and it's someone that may just wish for others to see me as bad and unrighteous when... They're the ones that unrighteous for making those things show up when I haven't done anything wrong. Like, technically she hasn't done anything wrong, but this, this is just... It's weird. Weird. 
There are people that have the power to restrict people's accounts and ban them that will do so for reasons that are valid or understandable and also that will act in ways that want, that want to make a way take away people's freedom of speech, which I, I agree with that, even though I think this is really weird. While I don't want to ever criticize someone that I've respected and cared about and my love interest being one of them, when it comes to certain ones that would need to be put in their place by me, I would like to give them a piece of my mind and put them in their place. I know that there are certain people that aren't that significant to me that I don't significant to me and that I don't like romantically and I'm not attracted to that I also wouldn't desire to criticize necessarily. For example, how I mentioned in that post I shared a thumbnail of YouTube videos of that showing the picture I added hearts and lipstick up to a Brian. <laughs> <sighs> Literally, guys, she took a mugshot picture and put hearts and lipstick around it. it. It's weird. That I wasn't intending to criticize her or some something along those lines. I wasn't mentioning that I wasn't trying to criticize her because she's significant to me or because I like her romantically or anything like that, but I wanted to share how nothing like that has ever happened to me before with someone taking a photo I made and using it as a thumbnail and many people viewing it. Also, if I did like her romantically, that would mean I like the same uh, in the way when I'm actually someone that has wanted to find my true love that is a male and that I'm attracted to and want it wholesome, wholeheartedly and that I can experience a true love and fulfilling relationship with. Yeah, Brian's not going to be able to help you with that. He's going to be behind bars probably the rest of his life. Okay. Yesterday, there was a note on my front door from my family member on my mother's side of the family that hadn't spoke to me in years. And that note said that she was was wondering how me and... Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not going to butcher the, the little... My son are doing, and she gave her phone number. But I don't want to reach out because of how how for many years I've been close a close off person that keeps to myself and also 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 I can't be hard to be closed out unless I feel free significantly about someone which makes me want them in my life but me not wanting to reach out reach out that family member isn't because of a not a monop whatever that word is that I feel tw animosity that's what the word is that I feel towards her and I know that with her leaving her phone number even though I don't want to reach out not saying anything is better than being being dramatic towards someone when communicating which I'm not going to do nor do I have the desire to do I know I know that what she wrote in the letter was the 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 mat dramatic or something that I've needed needed to react by defense about even if I don't feel positive about calling or reaching out there are some people that I would need to be on the defense with and stand up for myself but with what she wrote in that letter she's not one of them even if I don't want to communicate I know that with me being a close closed off person like I've been for years even though I came come on here and post it it could have have to do with life experiences i've had and things i've been through although i'm not sure if the moon phase when i was born has anything to do with it even though there's a chance it does with me being born at 4 14 a.m under a new moon from what i've been informed of vi online success regarding my birth chart that was in the sun sign of Scorpio, it makes me think of how it was moonless night and there wasn't a moon in the sky. Although there could have been stars, it was only darkness in terms of the night sky having no moon visible. <sighs> One source years ago said that it was a warning crescent moon with a low percentage of visibility, while other sources say it was a new moon 
which means no moon, and I'm going to go with believing it was a new moon until I, I ever have more le, le, legitimate proof with a trustworthy source knowing my true birthplace placement and is important to me. When I ever mention them to someone, I want them to be correct and me know for sure they are. Although, with what I've known, now known about them, I wonder if they're accurate from what I've been informed of. With me knowing there's a chance that Brian can't see these posts and having trust issues with my local post office in terms of not wanting them to in interfere with my mail, though that would be against the law, they can't do that. Uh, with them knowing interfere accurate from what I've been informed of with me knowing there's a chance Brian can see these okay it's down a little further uh, trust issues with my local post office in terms of not wanting them to interfere with my mail sent out and me wanting them to be ethical and truth truth trustworthy with it and knowing that if anyone ever interferes with the process of him Receiving the letters, then not only is there a chance that he can see my post, but he also won't receive my letters, and I have generally feelings for him and want him to know some people may never experience feelings like that, and they may not know how that has made me feel. I may have certain trust issues because of how people have done things throughout my life, although I've read that my zodiac sign is one that can have trust issues, I still am sane enough to know that it's different when I place a letter at the post office to send out, then give it to someone on the street or expecting someone else to get it to the post office for me. I also know that if the employees at the post office are, are untrustworthy and unethical in any way towards the mail I leave to be sent out, that it's unfortunate in a way that I wouldn't have to. I would ever have to an ounce of distrust towards them. But I think one reason is because of how I think of all possibilities. I know that the mail travels to other places besides local post offices as well. I know that it is in the hands of the jail staff before they give it to him. So I have to hope they're trustworthy as well in giving it to him. Maybe some people will understand how I would feel differently about certain people banning and restricting my account if it was someone I'd like and respect versus someone I wouldn't. And no matter who is behind doing that, I know they're not going to make me feel like I'm in the wrong when I know when I'm in the wrong and when I'm not. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, what? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This was all about a letter making it to Brian and her not trusting people that were going to give Brian the letter. Okay.